The book is called A Million Random Digits with 100,000 Normal Deviates. It's written by and for people who love numbers. Here's a sample. 2, 1, 8, 1, 5. 3, 9, 2, 5, 0. 7, 5, 2, 3, 7. 6, 2, 0, 4, 7. 1, 5, 5, 0, 1. There is text in the book, but it's not plentiful. Just a few pages at the beginning that you can skim through or skip past. The main section of the book consists entirely of digits, arranged 50 to a line. Each line also has an identifying line number, which some readers will count as an unexpected bonus. The book has a second, smaller section filled with deviates, statistical deviates. These will appeal more to some readers than to others. The main section begins in a way that will satisfy tradition-minded critics. The first digit is 1. The modern reader will be tempted to call this stodgy and old-fashioned. But determination and persistence will pay off for anyone who manages to keep reading, because the next digit is 0. That sudden, heart-stopping 0 is immediately succeeded by a second 0. And it's at this point that things take off with a wrenching twist. 9, the authors write next and without any hesitation at all, they then plunge into a thrilling passage that evokes an entire universe of digits. Seven, three, two, five, three, three, seven, six, five, two, zero, one, three, five, eight, six. At this point, things are moving with so much momentum that nothing short of slamming the book shut could stop this epic, expectation-confounding march. Much joy is to be had in the reading, with perhaps now and then a pause for contemplation and a brisk cup of water. It would be unconscionable to reveal much detail, but I cannot resist mentioning a few highlights. In line 2080, there suddenly appears, with no warning at all, the passage 44444. This shocking thunderbolt serves a double duty, advancing the plot and also foreshadowing a most wonderful reappearance much later in the book. I ought to say no more than that the reader will feel drained by the time he or she encounters that 44444 again. The comic interludes, a sly mention of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comes especially to mind, make for good, rabble-rousing yucks. This book is a memorable read. It defies anticipation. The reader's sense of what comes next is almost constantly being upset. But anyone who manages to keep on reading will be well and truly rewarded when, at long last, the authors reveal the identity of the millionth digit. <laughs>